the Pagak and your association for social and environmental development was founded on July the 5th, 2000 as a public organization with registration number 799 as announced by the Ministry of Finance. The association was aimed at coordinating, understanding and cooperation from the organizations and agencies both in the public and private sectors, NGOs and academics. On preventing and solving the problems of AIDS, narcotic drugs, conserving and restoring the watershed area, utilizing the forest resources and environmental nature, promoting natural farming, self-sufficiency economy and appropriate local cultures emphasizing local wisdom, maintaining biological diversity, transmitting ancestral knowledge to children, students and youths, empowering the high area communities, as well as encouraging community participation in managing the local environments and restoring and sustaining water sources. The Pegakanyo Association the Social and Environmental Development was founded five years ago. It began its mission with the strategies on knowledge and local wisdom transmission and community strengthening in the 2008 to 2012 financial years with the budget supports from Toyota of Thailand Foundation and Environment Fund, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. The association has had the roles in coordinating understanding and collaboration with the public sector and allies in the people sector, NGOs and academics, to support the communities to set up and launch the developing activities in Meicham and Kalayani Watana districts, Chiang Mai province, on a continuous basis. Under the plans, there are major activities as follows. Restoration of the natural resources such as the forest through reforestation, setting up the forest ordination ceremony with a collaboration with six Pagakanyo communities in Kalayani Watana district, namely Ban Wat Chan, Ban Sam Wang, Ban Hoi Hom, Ban Hoi Kok, Ban Chem Luang, Ban Nakred Hoi, and one of them in Meicham district, Hoi Lu. All these communities cover the forest area of 38,263 Rai. There was also a feast offering to the forest spirits at two areas covering 1,200 Rai, making the total target area of 39,463 Rai. Organising the Natural Studies Watershed Forest Walk, participated by the knowledgeable persons, elderly, children, youths, students, teachers, monks, government officials, sub-district heads and local administrative organisation executives to transmit knowledge from the ancestors to the children and youths so that they would be aware and protect the watershed forest areas that have served as the food sources of the Pagakanyo for hundreds of years to be sustainable for many hundred years to come. Organising training on land utilisation survey on individual peace basis and the survey of conserved and utilised forest using GPS and one to four thousand aerial photos to assure the appropriate and fair uses of land for 14 communities with 999 participants. After the training, a union of the communities was formed and the villagers had signed to certify the map for land utilization to discourage additional forest invasion. They also sought the certification on part of the concerned government agencies. This activity had actualized the inspiration 
of Princess Terapa Rajasuda, the Crown Princess, who at one time visited the site at Kufapatana Center at the time of March the 1st, 2013. Her Royal Highness was discussing with the chief officials who had paid her audience concerning natural resources and environment. She suggested that it's good that the villagers have classified between the natural forest, community forest and their individual farming areas. The classification should be explicitly done so that the people would know which is what and how to maintain each of them. When the villagers were preparing the seedlings, there should be some efforts to get the children and students involved to facilitate their learning about local plants, their seedlings and uses for their future use. Setting up 255 irrigation ditches basing on Pagakanyor local wisdom in honouring the father of the land in nine canals to assure the fertility of the areas, reduce the wildfire and smog, maintain the water source quality and serve as the water source for farming vegetables and trees. Each ditch could provide 500 to 1,500 litres for farming purpose. It also reserves water for the wild species as well. The Pagakanyo Association for Social and Environmental Development has set up the operation system having the working groups and advisory board with monitoring and evaluation of the project in collaboration with the working groups in Kalayani Watana district. Among them are the district chiefs, other officials, sub-district headmen, village headmen and local administrative organization executives. The governor of Chiang Mai province has served as the chairperson of the advisory board. The vice governor on social security served as the vice chairperson. Chiang Mai provincial office of natural resources and environment served as a secretary. Mr. Which I keep me the Director of the Research and Technical Division, the Office of the 16th Conservation Zone, National Park, Wildlife and Plants, served as the Chairperson of the Working Group. The Pagakanyo Association for Social and Environmental Development served as a member and secretary for the Working Group to coordinate the communities with the district and Chiang Mai province and the project's advisors to report on the progress of the operation and problems occurred and collectively set up the solution. The concrete success of the Pagakanyo Association for Social and Environmental Development is a product of the commitment and cooperation of the personnel from every organization and agency of public and NGO sectors as well as the academics from Chiang Mai University. However, these activities have not yet been launched in all of the areas. There would be no less than hundreds of communities which have capacity to restore and conserve the natural resources and have wanted to collaborate with the Pakanakanyo Association for Social and Environmental Development government agencies and academics to carry out the operation in applying local wisdom to the effort, leading to a sustainable community development. It's a way to transmit local wisdom and appropriate technology for the community capacity development, leading to an effective and fair development of life quality of the Pagakan your people. ยามเย็นอีกโอ้ยโรยแรงเลวหลังนั่งลงพักกายเมื่อมองเห็นดอยลาบตาจิตทวินรู้ไม่ใจฉันเรียกเธอสักวานคงได้พบเจอหมู่
ุ้มมารินเจ้าเอ๋ยดอมดงพึกษาตามพันนาปันโพดลำทานดอมดงพึกษาตามพันนาปากขาวลำทาน